Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about a book uh, that I used to attempt to teach myself complex variables before I ever studied it uh, formally in college. Uh, the book is called Applied Complex Variables and it was written by John W. Detman. So again, I used this book before taking uh, a course on complex variables and I was actually able to read the book and actually learn uh, some of the material in this book which I think uh, says a lot for the book. Let's take a look inside this book. So I think the table of contents is pretty standard for a complex analysis book. It starts off with the complex number plane, and then functions of a complex variable, talks about cauchy riemann line integrals, Cauchy's theorem, the maximum modulus principle, all the stuff you would typically see. Then it goes on to sequences and series, it continues with series, it talks about infinite series, power series, analytic continuation, Laurent series, double series. It does go into infinite products, not all textbooks do that, and proper integrals, and then the gamma function. Then it goes on to residue calculus, and it goes into some applications. Now I've never looked at this part of the book, so potential theory, ordinary differential equations, Fourier transforms, Laplace transforms and asymptotic expansions. I've only used uh, part one of this book. Uh, again, I was using this book before I took a course on complex variables. Let's take a look further inside. So this is the actual first page of the book and it is a really nice uh, read. It's very easy to read. I mean, anyone can read this. In fact, let's read it together. Probably the first time a school child comes across the need for any kind of number other than the real numbers, is in an algebra course where he studies the quadratic equation. He is shown by quite elementary methods that the roots of this equation must be of the form, the usual quadratic formula. He is then told that if the discriminant is non-negative, then the roots of the quadratic equation are real. Otherwise, they are complex. Then he goes on to say, it must seem very strange to the student who has known only the real numbers and is told that a, b, c, and x in the equation are real, that he must be confronted with this strange new beast, the complex number. So I remember reading this. I was sitting in the dentist, uh, and I was reading this book. I had just gotten it off Amazon. And I thought, wow, this makes sense. Um, I can learn complex analysis. A little bit further in the book, um, the author continues, and he continues to do an excellent job explaining. I mean... You could probably buy this book and read it and understand it uh, for quite a bit until it gets farther. So even if you haven't had complex variables, you could learn a lot uh, from this book. I would say the readability of this book is absolutely uh, amazing. One of the downsides of this book is that it does not have solutions to the exercises, not even partial solutions. So if you're trying to learn on your own, um, it's not helpful in that regard because there are no solutions. However, the book is a really good read and it's written very, very well. And so because of that and that only, I think it is worth owning this book. Uh, if you're trying to learn complex analysis, the book is Applied Complex Variables. The author is John Detman and this is one of the Dover books, so it's probably quite inexpensive. Uh, it says here 1895 in USA. Uh, it might even be less now on Amazon. I have not looked, uh, but I will look later. So that's it.